Good morning. Welcome back. Listen, are these not the cutest little jammies you've ever seen? I got them from Skims and they have little skiers on them. So cute. And then the boxers, they're the same. And I love them. We're getting ready for the day. Mason is ready for breakfast and we're gonna go make that right now. We took our little baby hiatus that was needed to get a little refresh, recharge. I have a lot to do today, so I wanna go buy the new house. Jason's playing outside with Bronx. I got a package from Nutrafol, which if y'all know this hair journey, I'm actually like very proud of where my hair is at health-wise. I feel like coming off of my hormonal birth control, I could always use a little supplementation. I'm trying out Nutrafol and I'm super excited about it. If you guys use it, let me know what your review is. Let me know how you feel about it because I've heard great things and I know a lot of people have used it. Growth begins within. Where you go is up to you. So the ones that I got are the Traceutical. This one has 120 capsules. I have three boxes of them. I'm like unable to see right now. And then I also got Gymshark packages so I can finally try things on because I got a miniature package that I mentioned in the last video. About to make our hard boiled eggs that Mason loves, right? She already plugged in the tree for us today. I also just put in an order for skims and I did go hammer time. I got two matching sweat sets and then two sets of like boyfriend shirt like this and boxers, the pink and then the new purple because that's what I wear. I think that it's so cute. I'm also like cutting glass right now. <sighs> I feel like we're finally settling into routine and my issue is like, I can't go through life where I haven't explained everything because I feel like I'm just like bobbing and weaving around reality. So it's like, oh, now I've told you guys about the house. I know it's probably a bigger deal than I'm making it and it will be when I move in. Let me show you what outfit was up. She was lurking. Mason came out here, she was on the phone with my sister and she was like, <sighs> And she screamed and pointed to her. Elfie's been on the move lately. She, I don't know. Some people have very complex elves. And I don't think that's, that. that's not how it was supposed to be. Elfie started making messes. And Elfie is also like everywhere all at once. Yesterday she was in a stocking. Like the elves getting into things. Guys, I think it's a little insane. And also by that time of the night, I'm like, girl, we're just going to move her. And she leaves a little note. The batter, the flower, the making, no. No, 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 no. Maybe next year. Also, this is so random. Can I show this to you? Living in Houston, I have like a dehumidifier. I have air purifiers and all of that stuff. But as you can see, I'm hanging out with the door open because we like to circulate the air in here. Good morning. And I got these from Amazon. It's the hanging bag moisture absorbers. Y'all, these work like a charm. I wish I could have showed you the ones from yesterday. They come in these packs. I think this was like 16. Oh, it was 10 packs. And you kind of just hang it wherever you want. So I have some in our closet, some in our laundry room. There's a little one down here. She's trying to lift me. She's a strong one. But anyway, those like literally fill with water that is in the air. And I think it's fantastic. And it's also a cheaper alternative if you don't have like an air purifier and a dehumidifier. Come out. Hello. 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 It's giving energy. I do have quite the little collection of mugs. And then I have to do the dishes because they're scaring me. Thankfully, we have a pretty chill week. Next week, it'll get a little bit more hectic because that's when I'll be flying back to Kansas with Mace, dropping her there. And then I'm going to go to Wichita. And then JJ is going to drive to Florida. And then I'm going to fly to Florida and then meet him there for the holidays. So it'll be a little crazy. I mean, all of the Chobani, they're all good. We love happy eggs. This kid, she can eat. Can you do the I love you? This one, these two go down. Yeah, there you go. You guys know that I like the non-dairy Jobani creamers. They didn't have any at the store, so I did get the sweet cream, like real cream one. I find that it's like not as thick and I really want thick cream. You really can't go wrong. I really like both of these. We went to the gym yesterday. I think we're gonna go to the gym today as well. My favorite part of it all When you and me deck the halls Making everything look just like it should at your tide The parcels are all under the tree Right where they should be Soon everything is crisp and fine This is the fit 
today. I got all of those little Gymshark pieces. I got a lot of sweat and then there's a few pieces I think I need to request, but this is the Lift Contour, which yesterday I wore the Lift Contour short. Same sports bra, little like racer back. And then this is what the bottoms look like. It has like this faux seam right here and a little contour up here. I think that's where it gets its name. I think it does make the cheeks look a little bigger. I feel like I fill it out, but I wouldn't size up. Like I almost fill it out where it doesn't like hold my butt because this isn't under my cheek. Full length, I'm wearing my new balances again. Super cute. I think I'm gonna do upper body, probably back and biceps today because yesterday I did leg day. But I really love these. They feel so soft, kind of like a lightweight seamless moment, almost mixed with sweat seamless, but it's so, it's thin, but it's incredibly stretchy yet durable. Get away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. So we just got up for the day. Good morning. I don't even think that I vlogged much yesterday, but JJ Mason and I, we went because it was a gloomy day. Like we didn't do anything and it was pouring rain all day. Today is beautiful, thank goodness. But we went to like a hibachi spot last night, which was fun for Mason. She's running back and forth through the house with yarn right now. Love that for her. And I also got some packages, but I didn't even get to show them to you because it was so gloomy and dark outside. My mom also has sent, Coco is what we call her, has also sent Mason a bunch of birthday. <laughs> Love you. Birthday presents, which her birthday is on Christmas. We're doing a little bit of some opening. We played like Trouble last night. She sent Jenga. Like all of these little toys, which is fun. I want to wrap them myself because my mom has like been Amazoning them to my house. So I'm gonna have to get wrapping paper today. And then we have a play date with one of our friends. Shaq's girlfriend has a daughter. She's four, which is Mason's age. And they're gonna hang out. And then Sierra and I are gonna hang out. It's so nice when you just have people that live the same life. And I feel like JJ and I were the ones that were like literally kidless. But now we have a kid that we have to accommodate. And it's a fun time. I did get a package from Skims because I went ham on the site the other day and trying to find more lounge sets because I have the pink straight leg sweats and I swear I wear them like every day. My last vlog, I was literally wearing them and I just needed new ones. So we're gonna unbox that. I re-blew out my hair, but I still have not washed my hair since I did it, which I don't even know what day that was, honestly, but she's looking good. I've got some little lipped in curls going on. Also, thanks for all of the love on my last video, guys. Like I cannot wait to move, but like I said, I wanna sit in this answered prayer. I think that Sierra and Peace are gonna head over here soon, but I'm gonna do this little Skimberly unboxing because you know that's all I wear. We've got a big one. We also need to take our Christmas picture, which I think we're going to do this week since we'll be leaving for the holiday. I got sweatpants and the little cotton fleece zip up, burgundy red color. The boyfriend boxers in sleet, which is a nice little purple. Boyfriend boxers in the pink. The green sweat set, spruce. That's the color of it. I think that these will be long enough for me, I'm hoping. So, I've got the bodysuit on. I think that this is an extra small from Gymshark. Oh, I have a size small, actually. The Lift Contour Seamless Bodysuit, which I've been wearing the Lift Contour so much lately. It is a little thong in the back. Adjustable straps, which is nice. I'm probably going to loosen them. I don't know. I feel like this little color can work with this. Are you in that box? She's like a cat, how they love to be in boxes. Oh, slay. Okay, and they're long enough on me. Like, I feel like this is cute. And it does have the tie right here a chill little fit. Then I can layer the little zip up with it. I got this in a size small because it is already oversized. Ugh. And I know it's probably for real winter where you guys live, but for me, the sun out and it's currently 53 degrees, which is chillier, but it's not bad. This is my fit for the day. I, ooh, and I'm going to wear my new balances. I'm gonna wear my green cream 530s. Let me go grab those. Be so for real. Is it too much? Maybe, but nobody's about to see me today. So I'm chilling. Honestly, this is a fit. But we're about to get some breakfast in our tummies. Mason said she wanted bread for breakfast, so I'm gonna do French toast for her. She's eating hot dog buns right now. She's hilarious. Slay. Yeah. 
can do that easily, y'all. It's the daycare, play care, stay care, slay care at my house right now. We've got four babies, four kids over here, two moms, a TT, uncle, Bronx, Mason, Legacy, and Peace. They're the cutest because it's like Mason's the tiniest, then Peace, then Legacy. Literally precious. We're gonna take them to a trampoline park later because this is what it is. This is what I'm talking about. There they are. Just live, and then we got some going up the stairs. Guys, this is gonna be my future. You should have seen when Legacy and Caitlin got here. Uncle, he comes and he's like, oh, that's my future with my four kids. Cause we got the baby over here too. Mason loves the baby. of our goodies to go back to Kansas this morning. I have all kinds of stuff on the ground over there. Mine and Mason's stuff. Two suitcases. One I'm taking is the carry-on. Then I am going to have JJ drive my other one to Florida. So I was up until like 3 a.m. Making sure I was back. But we're good now. We're about to head to the airport. Just gotta pack up Mason's little bag. a nap <laughs> as you can see while wow, my dad's sister and mason went to the car dealership because i guess he's getting a new car today so now they need me to drive one of the cars or something i don't know i'm in the chrysler my dad has had chrysler 300 since we were little and he loves them the one that he's getting my whole family opposes but i support my dad he wants to get an orange one and it has like all of the features that he wants and you know what i feel like my dad in his 50s should live out his dreams and have the exact type of car that he wants so i'm proud of him and i'm super excited for him he's getting a newer version of it i don't even know what year this is but anytime that i've visited i've driven his chrysler i think yeah this is like a sport something so i know the next one's gonna be similar somehow but myrie's driving her car with mason they both had to drive my dad's car back here because they need another person to help get the vehicle back there and he's actually getting his new car from the same dealership that i bought my jeep because it's chrysler dodge jeep ram just like a different salesperson but i thought that was kind of cool because the day after christmas in 2020 i got my 2020 21 jeep grand cherokee and it's the 21st it's around the same time i thought that was pretty cool but i just woke up from a nap and you guys i'm so like dehydrated i feel like i haven't eaten because i've just been on the move since 3 a.m or 6 a.m this morning and went to bed at 3 30 so i'm just trying to stock up on some water and get some electrolytes in my body you guys i just got my rental car i actually came to enterprise and i was like i think i was getting just like a regular you know sedan car whatever they're like oh we also have a buick that it needs gas like it's on e but it's a little bit bigger so i was like okay i'll do the buick whatever otherwise they had like a toyota camry so i'm like okay i get the buick and then i go to the gas station because i gotta fill it up then i sit there at the pump and i'm like i cannot drive this like i i don't know what it is i've never driven a buick in my life my mom literally has one i called them and i said hi do you have the camry can i please trade and they said yeah just bring it on back and i said perfect we'll do so now we've got the toyota camry okay she's slaying and she actually has carplay thank goodness because i don't think the buick did you guys so now i'm going to head to wichita i should get there around 1 45 and we're gonna slay the day away and then i have dinner tonight with the girlies life is good got all my stuff in here and i'm ready to be a big kid and drive all the way to my hometown i'm walking around feeling free Thinking about what's happened to me from July Up till now Don't know where Don't know how Lately I've come to realize That I can't see it in your eyes So it's true I'm so glad you feel it too Nothing to hide but falling in love 
guys with a little fast forward moment. I am now in Florida visiting JJ's family with him. We've been here for a couple of days. We had Christmas here and we will be here until New Year's, I believe, or we're leaving on the 31st, something like that. We're staying out here on the beach like we usually do. We have a little wraparound porch right here. This is just where our room is and we have it closed over here. But it's gorgeous. This room is just busy soaking up family time, hanging out, and that's what I'm going to be doing the rest of the time that we're here. I was editing my last Vlogmas, and I just decided to throw all of my days together because I want to come back in the new year and go over my favorites and do a whole recap and all of that stuff. So I'm really just trying to take a chill pill at the end of this year because I'm so ready for 2024. It's going to be fantastic. But I didn't forget about you. I had the best time going back to Wichita and hanging out with all of my friends. We all did these PowerPoint presentations of the last seven years to catch everybody up because we all have not been together since we graduated in 2016 which is literally insane you guys i am sitting here in the car working a little bit while jj gets his hair cut we're here in his hometown in chipley i just want to do a little baby recap of what this year has looked like but i'm gonna do an actual video after this at the end of the year has been great we've just spent so much time with family as you guys know in every facet whether it's jj's family my family we've just been around family and our friends who we do refer to as family so much lately and it's been really good for my heart i had a question on instagram from somebody asking how I grew the most this year and I think that my answer was something along the lines of like I grew in the way that I found my priorities and how I prioritize different things in my life and I do think that it just comes with age in some way but I definitely have found my priorities I know what I like focusing on and I know what makes me happy and what I enjoy pouring into most and that is my relationship with God my friends my family and my future that's all I care about and I know that a lot of people are like well I want to build this extra huge business and all of that but genuinely like with my social media and with my platform I don't want to ever forget like what my priorities are and that does happen to be those few things and I feel like I have good little priorities set up at the beginning of this year I turned 25 I know everybody was like oh boy it's the quarter life crisis that's gonna come and I never felt like I was gonna have that type of like energy towards 25 I was excited for it I didn't feel any crazy type of way about it but I swear to you when I turned 25 and as it was in January that I turned 25 I feel like this year was a funky year but it was such a good year it was one of my most successful years yet Yet, but it just was a year where I was able to see everything for what it was and really like open my mind to figure out what I want in life and what I want out of like the time I'm spending here and I will say I do feel like part of that is my frontal lobe fully developed okay there has to be something about the 25 year old like quarter life crisis aligning with when our frontal lobes are fully developed because I feel like this was the year of clarity for me as well I've just learned so much and I've built amazing friendships and bonds but I feel like I'm also not now, after being 25 for a year, I just transitioned into being like an adult. And I feel like I've talked about that a lot this year. It was like the year of me being an adult and transitioning into adulthood, exiting that college, like post-grad life and being like, okay, this is what I want on the other side of that, if that makes sense. But overall, like it's been a great year. Of course, some things don't go to plan, but some things really do. And they, they supersede what your expectations are, which I'm very, very grateful for. But I'm really pumped and really, really excited for 2024. I don't know what it'll bring. I know once we get home, Sierra's birthday was on the 28th. I know she, Caitlin and I are going to sit down and do our vision boards because we already bought the stuff for it, but we all just got too busy. So I'm really excited to do a 2024 vision board. I, I'm just going to be shook at what comes true because for the longest, my vision board on my iPad still, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to do a separate video on this, but it's just wild because my vision board on my iPad used to be the same one that was on my phone. Let me just get rid of all of these notifications. It is my vision board that I made the end of last year and I will say like pretty much everything somehow has come true and it was a simple one this is exactly what our bed looked like for the longest time I'm on my own vision board because I wanted to maintain a healthy and active lifestyle obviously and I did that I did get my little coffee corner in the house which you guys know you see all the time I traveled a lot this year for some fantastic things some amazing things and then I have jewelry up here which this is real this isn't an engagement ring on this hand but but I actually do have a signet now on my for my pinky, which is so funny. I dabbled in my jewelry game. We have gone ring browsing, which is so funny. And then up here I have my little office, which we love. And right here, right here, I didn't think it would happen. Honestly, like as the end of the year got closer, it wasn't something I was rushing. We'll be owning a home. And this is literally keys to a house. And I thought that just meant I put it on here thinking, you know what, we're moving to a new place. Like Houston, this was our first year here. And that 
like signified that but now looking at it i'm like wait this could be the keys to our new house and it's exactly what it is like it's insane so i'm very excited to my vision board for 2024 and just to like ring in the new year like gosh it's gonna be so weird i really really want to pour into youtube this year i know vlogmas got a little crazy but that's because we got mason a few times this year and especially all of december we had her up until we left for our christmas trip things change people change feelings change too okay all kinds of crazy things but i do want to wrap up this video because i know it's a long one it spanned quite a few days and i want to say thank you so much for watching my vlogmas this year i do have just seven videos seven videos that i am proud of my schedule was chaotic I wasn't at home constantly. I wasn't moving this time of year like I did last year But I am proud of my vlogmas and I'm proud of myself for everything that I've done this year proud of you guys Thank you for sticking around. Thanks for hanging out with me all of 2023 and being my best friends Because it really means the world that you guys are here with all of my life changes and with every single journey that I'm on It it really means the world to me, but I'm excited for 2024 So I guess I'll see you guys then which is so weird But if you guys enjoyed this video any of my vlogmas videos please make sure to give this a thumbs up so i know that you did also be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss a video with me and you guys can keep up with me every single day on instagram and tiktok at libby christensen and i will see you in 2024 and i will talk to you guys later From